right, so here he is, a man who needs no introduction, the former K-1 World Grand Prix champion, heavyweight contender, Alistair Overeem. Kind of surprised you haven't shared the octagon with this guy yet. Yes, we have seen Alistair Overeem for a really long time. We've seen the ups, we've seen the downs. From the highest of highs as the strike force heavyweight champ to the lowest of lows, he's been here and he's been around forever. But the one thing that you know when you think about Alistair Overeem is that when things get tough, he will evolve. He will get better. And recently, he has been back on the upswing in his career. Alistair Overeem, the man many of these fight fans have come out to see here tonight. So tonight we get another look at the decorated lightweight champion, Islam Makhachev. This is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Such a nuanced game on the ground. Outstanding striker as well, and puts his belt on the line yet again tonight. Yeah, you know, Johnny, puts his belt on the line. This guy, this guy does everything so well. He's so well-rounded, he's so skilled, he's so gifted, and he is so confident in his ability to go and get you. It's that simple. I'm gonna get you. I'll get my hands locked, I'll throw you to the ground, and I will make you engage with me on my terms. That has allowed him to become the champion, and tonight, he has even more of an advantage because there's the boy, Hasbula. Hasbula entrenched in the corner of Islam Makashev, and we'll probably have a photo shoot later if fans are interested to see how it goes for Makashev tonight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's who's first fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alistair Arim Overeem. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed. UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Islam Makhachev. One of the best in the business, Herb right. Dean, is our referee tonight. Good. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo world champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Makhachev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the trips and the manipulation of joints and everything else. But on the feet, in a kickboxing setting, this man has proven elite as well. A true five-tool player who many believe by year's end could just be the king of the lightweight division. Right, so there it is, just as he said in our fighter meeting, he's going to pursue the clinch at all costs. He doesn't care about the crowd booing. This is how you defeat a kickboxer, and the wrestler's going to try to tie him up. Oh, well, yeah, give him a little space, give him a little distance to operate with, and smother him. That's exactly what this wrestler's trying to do. It's a pretty good jab. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground.
puts his knee on belly. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Makashev's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Oh, right into Mal. He's got to start throwing now. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Mm, that was nice. Excellent ground and pound there by Islam Makashev. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Takes his back now. In the half guard. Makashev's trying for a submission here. Oh, I'm no expert, but that bomb flute choke looks locked in. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, work, keeping work, everything work, short work. and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victories. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by the ring. Side control. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, well placed with the hammer fist there by Islam Makashev. Five minutes in the books. All right, take a seat, bud. Breathe, deep breath in for me. All right, listen. I need you to go out there, and I want you to do more of that. Let's set up those takedowns. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. with the straight left, but that's a miss. Collar tie here on the clinch. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Shot is blocked there by Islam Makashev. Oh, nice. He's got to start going now. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Also gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Makashev's got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side, but it's time to finish. Oh, that's gotta be it. Oh, he got out, how good is that? This guy is so aware, he never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Less than two minutes now to go. Oh, trying to pass here, but to Kembe Matumbo style, he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. There it is, now he's going to mount. I need you to use that wrist control. Makashev's in half guard. Continuing to work out of the half guard. All right, feet on the hips here. Overeem's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. 
Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Makashev's going for an arm here. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. He's starting to get it in there deep. No, oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Good round. his power, you took everything that he had, you felt his power, and that is the best that he had. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Round three of a possible five. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he was trying to chase down that pick. This jab hurt a little bit. Beautiful job by the champion. And now some separation. Take down defenses there. Off the top, but he had a reach advantage and he really is using it. Nice punch there. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Overeem going for the body. Missed with that kick. Oh, nice takedown defense. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears... Oh, slams it down with authority. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. Effective jab there by Islam Akasha. Another takedown land. Makashev's in half court. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Akashev going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Final seconds of round three. Akasha oh, got to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. Nice work that way. The striking looks awesome. Let's keep that up. I want to see accuracy right now. Don't worry. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. 
Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. level guard pass there as he moves into half court. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish his technique. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Islam Makashe. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Islam Makashe. Two minutes now to go. Overeem's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Down, no problem. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, nice kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Take down a death late in the round, and he gets it. Yeah, he's in half guard here. Ten seconds to go in the round. A lot of top pressure being... Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Makashev's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this one. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. Oh, and that looks tight. Control up of body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten them out and just go for the finish. Down the stretch they come. We're going down to the wire. It has been all action all the time. I mean, two evenly matched fighters have laid it all out on the line. Let's see who can get the job done 
as we get to the end of the fight. Oh, beautiful fight instinct there as he reverses position, and now he's got the dominant position. He did a fantastic job recognizing, man. I have got to get on the offense from bottom to top. Huge shot lands there. That is it! Oh, my goodness! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 59 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alistair the Reed. So Alistair Overeem just continues to find ways to get it done while entertaining the masses along the way. Huge win for the Ream tonight. And this is about as accurate a striker statistically as we've ever seen in the UFC. Picked his spots well.